Ready? hiking into a it's the same area but it's just a, a different angle on the, the spot we're trying to hunt haven't seen anything good in here yet but lots of deer and um, we saw a big buck in here a few years ago so hoping something pops up I'm gonna hike to the top of this knoll here and glass from it till dark dad's on another knoll and Joseph he's on another knoll we're just kind of Getting a bird's eye view of the whole area. Hopefully something will come out. All right. Well, guys, we saw about a million does tonight. It was eventful, but all I saw was a little two-point buck. So it was pretty, pretty boring. I don't know if Joseph saw anything. Dad said he just saw does too. So heading out of here, I'm thinking we need to maybe switch it up and go to somewhere else. Maybe find better buck to doe ratio. This is crazy. Pretty bad. So pretty cold out here. Hopefully tomorrow's better. So the next morning I glassed up this group of smaller bucks about two miles away. I was getting frustrated with seeing so many does and smaller bucks. So we decided to check out some new area and head up into the higher country. Yeah, looks like a petroglyph here. Not really sure what it is. It means it does. This is the big buck. This is the teepee. And this is a little heart saying they love their big bucks home. <laughs> And I don't know what that is. That is someone who knew that we're going to camp that's coming in the future. Yeah, it looks like a little trailer. <laughs> After looking around in the high country for a while, we finally found a good place to glass, and we found this awesome buck on the first evening. Unfortunately, this deer was living right on the border of a national monument, and we played cat and mouse with him for two days, uh, it just seemed like it was one thing after the other where it just wouldn't work out. I was set up on him and he came right up to the fence and he wouldn't jump and I was literally only 200 yards away from him. The next day we had him bedded in a great location and just randomly a sheep herder with a few dogs came riding right into his spot and just bumped him completely into the opposite direction. Okay, so a little update. We got on some bucks this evening. We were waiting for that big buck to come out, um, but a guy that was a sheep herder, he um, was on his horse and had some dogs, and they walked right where that buck was coming out, and it bumped him back into the, the trees. So we didn't get a look at him this evening, and then David, he found a buck this evening that was about a 170 last year and so he he called us and so we came over there and we snuck in on him and got really close I saw him we had him at 300 and was it 390 yards <clears throat> so it's muzzleloader so it was a bit far for me I'm, I'm sighted into three so then I circled back around and got him to 340 yards and then he went up and over the hill and then we ran in, it was right at dark, ran in, got up 
it was like grassy and he was feeding out in this big open meadow and I started to see other deer's backs, does, and we were getting to be about 100 yards from those does and I knew we were just going to bump him so we just we just turned around and came back but we have a pretty good feeling where he's going to be in the morning um, so we're going to just kind of set up on that edge of that strip meadow hopefully he'll come back out and we can get a shot at him tomorrow morning um, that's about it I guess It was, yes. Good job, Daniel. So excited. Smoked that thing. It was crazy. That thing only ran like. That's a big old bullet. It only ran maybe 20 yards from where I shot it. Wow. You never saw it. Isn't that crazy? Just the recoil of the gun and everything. Uh, <laughs> so cool. We were just sneaking through the trees, and the first deer I saw were the bucks coming right to us. But the problem was, if they're right on the corner, they could have gone down, or they could have kept coming to us. Yeah, and I was like, man, he's literally just right in front of us in those, right in that meadow. I sat down, I made sure, I was like, yeah, that's him there. It was so hard. Let me show you where I shot him. See it, yeah. Let's go look at this thing. <laughs> Damn, congratulations. Thank you. That is. Thank you. Congratulations. I, I can't that believe it. So when he pulled his binoculars up and go, that's him. I said, that's him? Seriously? It was the butt. First deer he looks at, it was the butt. Look yeah. at that cove, huh? That's the tip of the tree where he right showed it. Came from last exactly. night. You think he was coming right here? I do. Wow. Well, I never would have seen him, Joseph and I. He probably would have fired. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. I can't see that part. Really? Oh damn, perfect shot. That's, That's a nice buck now. Yeah. Right. right on. Yeah, That's a nice buck. That's a nice buck. Right there. Oh yeah. Damn, That's, That's so cool. Buck. That is a really nice buck. I've this first time I've seen. Is it? Really? really? Yeah. First time I've seen. That's awesome. So symmetrical. Nice forks. Well, kicker on the back. Yeah. Really on the back? So he's got the eye guard on the one side. Shot. Hit him high. Good. A little high? Yeah, a little high. Smoked him though. That was that's yeah. the exit hole, isn't it? It would be, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's white. Oh, yeah, white. Yeah, I know. He is really white. Look at white, dude. Yeah, he's white. I think he's 27. <laughs> I think he's wider than I thought. Look at those things flare. They're that there. Cool. He's yeah, he's it's wider than wide. I thought. That's really wide. That is really neat how wide he is. Yeah, he's he's a cool deer. He's a little thin, but I mean, as hard as this hunt is. Man, that's a tough hunt. That's the yeah. best buck we've seen. That was good. Job, for sure. You see that little? Yeah, yeah. that is cool. That's a scorable point. That is. Sure. <laughs> that one's pretty cheap, too. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Man, that is a nice. That's yeah. Cool looking deer. He's he's spindly, so it makes him look smaller. Um because he doesn't have the mass. But his that's true, he does. David, that's a really good point. If he's probably the whitest deer we've ever killed. Look at I mean his, no, besides his my fork kickers, or... but main frame, like that is so wide. That's here to here. That is out there. Yeah.
One thing I noticed is how he flared like that. Uh, pushing 30 down. I don't know. Yeah, he's got some. He's definitely it's over funny. two feet. That other buck that's with him, I mean, it's like got to be the same gene pool. Oh, exactly the same. Sacked. But he's just not quite as deep on the floor. Little forest. spin to be too. Sacked. This is so cool. Yeah. I see that. I didn't, I didn't know he split. I just thought he got fat right there. Oh, okay. Pretty dang symmetrical. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. That's an so awesome cool. deer. He's not a giant body. No, he, you could tell he's a young. He's younger. Yeah. He's not. He's not an old deer. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That thing went clear through him. That bullet. Yeah. This slug came over yeah. two, two twenty-five or something. That's what I was two asking. Years. I wasn't sure. It's two something. Like that. He's. Yeah, yeah, he's a great deer. This man, is a great deer. Point, man. Yeah, you know, just a general season unit. Yeah, it's not it's not yeah. easy at all. We hunted hard, and you know, with four of us out here looking in different areas, kill that deer. Yeah, that's the best deer we've seen on public land. It really Super is. Stoked. Yeah, that is, man. It really is a nice bug. Yeah.